My name is Jennifer Thomas. I am a classically trained pianist, violinist, and composer. In the last several years, I have released three albums, performed many concerts, released a few music videos, and won a few awards. In the midst of all of this, I have also given birth to three adorable little boys who are the center of my life. The most recent one came this year. It hasn't been easy juggling both music career and motherhood, but recently my husband Will and I took a huge leap of faith. He quit his busy corporate job so that we could concentrate on making my music career full time. This video blog gives a small glimpse into my life as both a musician and mother and our transition into making my music career a full family effort. I hope you enjoy. In my last video blog, my family and I filmed a baby commercial at our home right before Christmas. I also spent some time scoring the music for it as well. I also had my first tuning and voicing on my new piano since I bought it in October. Of course, getting practice time all to myself doesn't always happen on a daily basis around here, but I'm okay with that. I never want to discourage my kids from playing on the piano. Yeah, it's just half notes. Mm -hmm. You don't want them seeing the text? No, I would say keep them on off. I've also been working tirelessly on a choral piece that I've written for my upcoming Christmas album called Alleluia. I can't even tell you the hours that have gone into it so far to be sure that the text, the Latin, the harmonies, and the sheet music, and just everything is just right. It's a hundred person choir, and I'm feeling a lot of pressure to make sure that I have everything just right. We returned from another trip to Los Angeles, but this time it was for Grammy weekend. Our friends Ricky Kedge and Voter Kellerman were nominated for Best New Age Album. We wanted to be there to support them. I know how much work they put into everything. We left our older two boys with my parents and brought our 10-month-old Riley with us. And you know, sometimes kids just have that all-too-perfect timing because Riley woke up with a stomach virus that morning, which almost made us miss our flight, and he spent the rest of the day vomiting. Poor baby. November? Yeah. yeah we brought Grandma yeah, Thomas brought with us on the trip. Yeah. Oh, you're so tired. You getting some Grandma snuggles? Mm. So Riley's been sick all day, and I technically should be getting ready for a party right now, but instead I'm doing this. Pushing back and forth. Relaxing in my pajamas because he barfed all over my clothes. It's okay. We're going to wash him. And I only packed one shirt for this entire trip. Hi, baby. And I'm waiting for my husband to get back because he forgot his shirt and tie at home in Seattle. So he had to run to Nordstrom and get a new one. And... I am sitting here doing this. There's my pile of clothes that are covered in barf. I hope that doesn't make you want to barf because it does me. Be good. Well, Will finally got a new shirt and tie, and I found some time to shower and get ready, and then we were off for the night. celebration party and we're late and now we're going to be even more late because of lovely LA traffic but I have a really cute date we should drive it. <laughs> oh wow you're really close <laughs> So I've been a member of the Recording Academy for about eight years now, 
And I have to say, it was so fun to finally meet so many of my Academy member friends that I've only known online. It was truly a joy. We are done for the night. We went to two parties. Um, but we had fun. We're hungry. We're parents. We're not used to staying up this late. We're getting old. Me home. <laughs> All right. I'm going to trip. Being that this was my first time going to LA for Grammy weekend, in hindsight, I wish I had planned things out better. I was very concerned about our other boys being left too long and just the logistics of everything. And I decided to not get tickets to the actual award show, but being down there with all the excitement and meeting everyone and just, I don't know, I, I really wish that I had thought it through better because I definitely would have gone back in time and gotten those tickets. I love the beach so much. I just want to put a house here, live here. We were lucky to spend some time at Manhattan Beach, which is actually where Will's mom grew up. It was so fun to see her giddy with excitement and showing us all of the things that she remembered growing up there. We woke up early Sunday morning to head back to Seattle, and unfortunately Riley got sick again, and so we had to deal with a barfy baby again all the way home. I feel so bad for that little guy. But we were able to see updates all the way home on the Grammys, and I almost shouted for joy on the airplane as I saw the news on my smartphone that both Ricky and Voter had won the Grammy Award. I am so incredibly happy for those two. They are the most genuine, kind people, and they do music for all the right reasons. There's no pride or glorification or over-self-promotion there. They are just truly wonderful people. So, we're back from L.A. We have our other boys with us. I'm so exhausted. But it's fun to be here with the boys again. Back to reality. Hopefully I can catch up with my sleep. Now that we're back at home, the boys are all enjoying being together again. I'm back to composing more music for my Christmas album, which is coming along very nicely. Lots of exciting things are in the works for this album, including some performances, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm a little nervous. As I've been reflecting on the past week, something that I've really been thinking about is how worthwhile it is to be happy for other people's happiness. There is an abundance of good fortune and it's out there for you too. And the more you find ways to be happy for others, it in turn brings happiness for your soul as well. Until next time. Hey, where'd your banana go? So gross.